Fetch me a beer or something. Hello? Beer? One, please. Sure, sure. I don't know, I'm acting a little weird today. It's all right, this place could make anyone weird. Well, I know how you feel about it. When we first got here, I hated the place too, but it's... It's starting to grow on me. Exactly my problem. It grows everywhere! Fingers on your feet. Everywhere. Uh, it's too big. You well, know? sometimes it seems that it almost has a heart. I expect to feel it thumping under my feet. I'm starting to like it. Mm. Yeah. It's great being soaking wet all the time. The bugs are my favorite. Yeah, but when you think about how long this place has been around, I mean, it, why it's, it's been here since, uh, it, I'm gonna say since the dawn of time, I think I'll go berserk. No other way to say it. Just get me to a crawl. The faster we get there, the faster we get home. Malibu, here we come. Malibu. It's the hoses. They've rotted just like everything else in this dump. Well, you better start walking. Sure can't get to Malibu from here. No, but there's some kind of building over there. Somebody will be able to help us. I wouldn't count on it. We've been waiting for three hours. Sorry to be so late. Look, all we need to do is use the phone. Don't we all? It's been out of order for two months. I'm Dr. Catherine Gersten. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm Joseph Carson. This is my friend. Tim Nicholson. Our car died on us. Rotted hose, probably. One of the many side effects of the climate. We were headed to Accra. Well, we can probably get your car going. Oh, great. Thank you. Great. We'd like to leave in the morning before it gets too hot. Tomorrow? Yeah. Well, we can pay if someone has to work overtime. Well, there's a group returning from up country with supplies. Medical as well as automotive. Our own vehicle suffers from the same ailments. They should be back within three days. Well, if, if we could stay here until they arrive, why, we wouldn't be in, in anybody's way. As a matter of fact, we're med students, so... Medical students? Yeah, we, we just finished pre-med, actually, at uh, UCLA, but we might be able to help out with some of the simple stuff. Whatever you can do will be a godsend. A paramedic and I have seen 200 people since yesterday at 7 a.m. 200? Oh, it's par for the course. We ask a few questions, give a short exam, prescribe medication, and move on to the next person. What kinds of problems? Everything. From festering, ulcerated wounds that happen because minor cuts aren't kept clean, to Kawashua Kora. I saw that, but I didn't Protein know. Protein malnutrition. That's those kids with the big bellies. And then there's marasmus, also known as starvation. Well, a litany of others. But the most serious in this area is schistosomiasis. That's anemia caused by a waterborne parasite. And its companion, onchocerciasis. That's river blindness. My God. We're fairly lucky here. We're near to Accra. In the more remote villages, up to 80% of the adults have been blinded by it. Well, I'm very tired. If you have sleeping bags and mosquito netting, you can sleep in the shed. It's either that or the ward floor. If you really wish to help, you could be at the clinic at 6 a.m. We will. Good night. 
Sleep tight. Good night, Doctor. Good night. Thanks for volunteering my services. What we really ought to do is just stay here for the week we've Forget got it. left. We could do some good. We could help out. Forget it, Joe. When the car's ready, we're out of here. That's that. Pretty much. A little bigger. Nice spot. Thanks. You live here? No, I come clear with baby brother and mother. Wanna come with me? You, you gotta be careful, you know, talking to strangers. Not strangers, the same. Only you white, me black. That's about it. Is your mother sick? Baby brother. I'm sorry to hear that. Everybody here got something. Not you. One day, me too, maybe river blind. When you go away. I don't know, a uh, couple of days, pretty soon. I go Clintersdale. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Wait a second. Where'd you learn that? Robert Gordon from Big Apple, USA. He go away long time now. My name's Joe. Me, Isaac. How old are you? Seven. Pretty old, huh? That's not so old. Just right. Hey, I'll see you around. It's been boiling for hours, so I think it's safe to drink. Thanks. <sighs> so what new and exciting things have been happening in your life lately? Kid, he just very calmly told me that someday he'd probably be river blind. Great to look forward to. Well, at least if you're river blind, you don't have to look at this miserable place. What is it with you? What? Every time you open your mouth, you got to come out with some kind of nasty crap. Well, lighten up, okay? Just lighten up. What are we fighting about? I I'm going to the clinic. Thanks for the coffee. Polina, your baby is very sick. He must stay here in hospital. I stay too, okay? Me too. Yes, you can both stay. The medicine will make it easier for him to breathe. He'll sleep now. Tomorrow, we'll see. Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow, he'll be better. Now, come along, big fella. There you go with the nurse. She'll find you a place in the nursery. Here we are. Me help more? Well, thank you, Isaac. No more today. Uh, tomorrow, if you like. I will. Mm. You be here, Joe? Tomorrow, yeah, you bet. All right, now listen. Sleep tight. Don't get the bed, Bugs Bite. You got it. What a great kid. Yeah, they're all great kids. But take my advice, keep your distance. They'll break your heart. The baby has tetanus, doesn't he? There'll be more spasms. It's too late. Don't you think the mother ought to know? I mean, if, if the baby's gonna die? Babies die by the minute here. With a thousand causes unheard of where we come from. When that baby dies tomorrow, she'll understand. I can't believe that. 
How could you? You've only been here 48 hours. How'd you happen to come here? I mean, why not someplace that's more of a tourist attraction? <laughs> well, we were planning to go to Kenya, but uh, we met a couple of girls from California in Dakar, and uh, they wanted to go to Monrovia, so you, you know how that is. But, uh, but then one of them got sick, and, and, and our car broke down. And here you are. I'm glad we could help. It's very rare that someone is so much in tune. Oh, I, I don't really... No, I mean, your responses to these people, this place, they're really very special. I mean, you seem so much at home. I am. And uh, to tell you the truth, it's, it's a little unsettling. I know. It was for me, too. Well, I have to go find Dr. Laboa. There'll be food for you in the kitchen. See you tomorrow? I'll be here. Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're clean as a whistle. Shirt whistle, too. <laughs> Joe? Joseph? In here. What's this, hygiene one? Hey, Isaac. Nope. This is wash and wear. African style. <laughs> I got good news, buddy. The car is going to live. We should be out of here by tomorrow morning, latest. Tomorrow? Your car work. You go goodbye. I'm sorry, Isaac. I'm gonna go work on the car. I'll let you know how I'm doing. Enough water. Time we go. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hi, I just uh, I accidentally knocked your pictures off the sofa here, and I, I, I didn't mean to be. That's all right. How long's it been since you were home? That home? Oh, not for a very long time. Well, there have been several in between. Here, help yourself. Thanks. Come in. Oh, that's Tim, all right. There's food within a hundred yards. He'll find it. <laughs> Join us. No, thank you. Thanks. Joe, the car's ready. Fast work. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go get some sleep. I think we ought to leave about seven. Yeah, seven. That's, uh, that's okay. If I don't see you before we take off in the morning, uh, 
Thanks for everything, Doctor. Thank you for all your help. I'll see you later, Joe. He's a great guy. We've known each other since the first grade. Planned out everything together our whole lives, from, uh, from what sport we would go out for to which med school we wanted. Mm. He's just, uh, he's really a good guy. Oh, Joe, you don't have to defend your friend. <laughs> I know. I just didn't think we'd be leaving this soon. I heard that, uh, that lecture you gave Isaac on first aid. Oh. <laughs> these people have to learn these things in order to survive. Things you and I learned as a matter of course. Hygiene. Nutrition. And they have to be taught kindly, gently, the way you taught Isaac. Joe, if you were to stay here and continue working, it would turn your whole life around. All your plans with Tim, all your plans for the future, I know. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very confused. I know you are. When you came here, did, did you plan to stay? <laughs> My brother David was a medical missionary working here. He needed me. I was just finishing my internship when he became terminally ill. So I planned on staying with him till the end. Then we worked together for as long as he was able. And then when it became too difficult for him, I worked alone. And the longer I worked, the more overwhelmed I became. By what you saw? By what I felt. I didn't understand what I was feeling either. I went to David. I asked him, please help me. Please tell me, explain what I was feeling. And he said, Jesus tells us the rich man can enter the kingdom of heaven, but only by passing through the eye of the needle. I guess I just don't uh, understand well, how that <laughs> pertains to this. Neither did I then. The day after the funeral, I was right here in this office, packing up to go home. I suddenly realized the poor and the hungry are the eye of the needle. And the only way I could pass through that eye was to open myself to them to share my knowledge, my substance, with them. So here I am. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Speaking of nutrition, you haven't eaten anything. Now, here, <laughs> pitch in. <laughs> I told Dr. Gersten I'd see her before I left. Uh, she'll probably be sleeping. I'm just going to go to the office. I'll just finish up in here. Yes? Hi. Oh, I thought you'd be gone by now. No, no, but uh, we're, we're ready to leave. Oh. Wait.
take this. I'm never going to forget you. Doctor, come please. Baby died. Isaac, Isaac, wait. Isaac, I'm very sorry about your brother. You go by now? Yeah. You ever come back ever? Maybe. If I do, I'm gonna find you. May not be here, maybe. Where do you think you're going? Play for a baby girl. Palm Springs. How about Palm Springs for a couple of days when we get back? Tim, you can't do it. I'm not going to let you do it. You don't even know what I was going to say. Come on, we've known each other since we were seven years old. I know you the same way you know me, inside out. All right, so, so maybe you do know what I was thinking. That's right, and I say no way. Look, never mind about the plans we made. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's rough to think you want to change all that, but it's a lot worse to think you want to change your whole life. You want to mess it up forever. That's not what this would be. Well, that's what it looks like to me. For the last 10 years, all you cared about was med school. Going, finishing up, and then us opening our uh, opening our super practice in Bev Hills. All the trimmings guaranteed. That just doesn't seem so important anymore. After a couple of lousy days in some half-baked clinic in the middle of nowhere. You can't make a decision like that while you are here. You can't do it. You gotta go home. Put some distance between you and, and this place. What happened to your dream? That's my department, all right? It's my heart. It's my soul. Come on. Think back, buddy. Not too long ago, I remember you telling me there was nothing like the chlorinated waters of your folks' pool when it came to restoring your soul. I know I said that. So be smart. Uh, keep, keep moving till we hit those waters again. Then you can work it out. I guess so. There you go. I feel like this is a tug of war or something, and, and I'm the rope. I'm on one end, and Dr. Gersten's on the other. It's all her fault. No, all... no it isn't. It, it's not her fault. And it is. It, it's her. It, it's that kid, Isaac. It's those other kids. They're the eye of the needle. I'll, I'll try to explain that to you when I come back. What's that gonna be? School's in three weeks. You gonna be there?
guess I already know. See ya. Cool.